All right, hello. Here is the walkthrough of Skimboard. This is our low voltage solution. So through this, you'll see an empty building here, and we're gonna walk through building. So as you fire up Skimboard, you have a number of choices here. So for wireless access points, if you're going to place them on a reference plane, you need to make sure that the reference plane levels or names are called data dash and then the level ID. So we'll go in and check those out. Go to our section here. So we have three pieces, so for three reference planes. So for each level, see so it's data. You don't need this second dash, but 01 dash entry level. You need that full name and then 02 dash floor, 03 dash floor. So data 03 dash floor is how we need to name these reference planes. So we can zoom back out. So we'll place the wireless access points on a reference plane. But for data, so we'll come in here, we'll simply choose a simple wall mounted data outlet and we'll just select everything. Um, come in here, we'll choose an intercom and this will place them in the rooms. So we'll go ahead and select those. And these are all face based families that will get hosted to the wall. Card readers, it's going to select corridors and really outline. So corridors, lobbies, stairs, uh, vestibules, anything that would be on the secure side. Obviously, you can come through here and check additional rooms as you need for wireless access points. Go ahead and load in. Here's our coverage diameter, so the coverage of your wireless access point, uh, 25 feet. It's pretty typical, uh, but you can adjust this value as you need. So we'll go ahead and load these, and then we're going to select everything as reference planes and select all spaces. Um, we don't necessarily need to post them through the corridors, um, but you can if you wish as well. Um, same with electrical rooms, uh, bathrooms, things like that. So you'll see all these are unchecked and are selected, but we can go ahead and override that if you choose. I'm going to uh, let that go. And then for floor boxes, uh, so here's our standard data outlet floor and we'll select everything. For this, there's gonna be one in each, uh, but for instruction rooms, just for an example, uh, we'll put two, and what this will be is two evenly spaced in the center of the room along the longest dimension. So for a conference room, this will go in that longest dimension, and we could do, we'll just for another example, put three in the conference rooms. And then for cameras, so there are two choices for cameras. Um, one is the, um, your default mounting type, whether that's uh, wall or ceiling. So whether you have a wall mount camera or a ceiling mount camera, um, we'll just go with this for the initial. Um, we're gonna select all reference planes, select all devices, so the corridor, uh, lobby. And then for the stair, what we're actually going to do is we're going to uncheck the reference plane and we're going to come in here and we're going to put them on the wall in the cameras and then the same, um, well, we could leave these as uh, ceiling mounts here in the vestibules. Um, just you have a choice on how you want to do that for these. Uh, for wall mounted, it's going to place them above the doors, um, which is what we'll want in the stairs in this case. For anything that has um, so lobby corridor where the cameras are going to get placed is at you know each end of that space. So if, you know in, in the case of a stair, if you have a really long kind of stair area, it would place two uh, cameras in there. Um, but that's not what we want. We just need one one above the stairs. So we'll go ahead and run everything. We'll wait a second here. So this will get you your full or very close to a full kind of data layout. Obviously you need to go and put in racks, cable tray, uh, things like that to complete out your design documents. But this will do the vast majority of devices throughout your facility. And there's still gonna be some adjustments, some movement of devices, but this will give you that kind of initial layout of devices throughout your building. Um, saving you a lot of time and layouts and really allowing you to grow your company as well. So just stuff that you now don't have to do. So here's 
um, you know, a couple hundred devices. They replaced 34 data outlets, 75 car readers, 66 intercoms, 56 wireless access points, 76 floor boxes, and 26 cameras. So let's go ahead and take a look at what was placed. So here's our uh, couple of floor boxes. Oh, and one thing, let's make sure that our um, graphics are correct here. So for floor boxes, we need to make sure that we're seeing down a foot, minus, minus one, and top minus one. All right, there we go. Um, so you see three floor boxes in the conference room, two in the instruction rooms, and again, it's along the longest dimension. Um, here's your wireless access point. In this instruction room, there's two wireless access points. Here's a camera, and this is their offset in this corridor um, because of, so there would be along the center of the corridor, but you can see how this uh, little piece got <laughs> pumped out. Um, so that's, that's why these cameras are not in the center of the corridor. You see two card readers, intercom, um, exterior card reader here. If that's what you wanted for each room, like if this was maybe an office building or, or something else, um, you know, maybe you need these, maybe you don't, but just to go through and complete, add, change, remove whatever you might need. So the corridor is going to place it at any door along that corridor. That isn't glass, so this is like a glass door going into the stairs. So if you have your wireless access points, your cameras, Floor boxes. And again, you can go through and, and see what you do or don't need. Conference room, um, maybe you just need those two. Um, there's those. So, single data in those rooms. A few data outlets here. And most of all this is a <laughs> curtain wall in this instruction room. Uh, curtain walls, fill up floors. So you can see floor boxes, and data outlets throughout, wireless access points here, card readers. And then if we look at our ceiling plan, so here's our ceiling plan. Um, you can see card reader. And then since <laughs> these floor boxes are um, on the ceiling, if we go ahead and look at a cup plane. So we're seeing on shooter. Let me look here. So you can see here's our, our floor boxes. There's a data floor outlet there. Here's another. So when we're, we're looking at the ceiling, that's what we're seeing. And you can see here's our wireless access points hosted to our reference planes. So if we need, we can move these up uh, to the actual ceiling height, and they'll move up with it accordingly. So very quick, clean, you know, it took a few minutes to populate this entire model and it gives you a really good uh, layout to begin with. So that is the overview of Skimboard and thank you for watching.